It's Can fine. you hear me? Uh-huh. No. Are you sure? Uh-huh. How about now? What is up, guys? Welcome to the first ever Dropout Gang podcast. Hit it. Ooh. Oh, baby. <laughs> it sounds so saucy. My name is Steven Shapiro, and today our guests are Lara Frazier, Dawson Gurley, and what? Reno Maringer. What's up? Yes. Oh, thank you. I stopped it early. Yeah, you did. But that's okay. I liked it. How you doing, guys? Great. Excellent. I'm Amazing. A, I'm great. I love it. So our first podcast. First we want to do this for a while. The, Long while. The, the funny thing is we built four rooms at the office for podcasts, and we're filming in an Airbnb right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> first one. In Salt Lake City, Utah, of all places, which I personally love. I never thought I would like utah i've never been to utah so i like it time. you haven't even experienced it i've seen outside Dude, we yeah. drove through the entire in state the dark today. yeah it looks so clean that's what i loved about it yeah, yeah. It is yeah. clean place smells amazing too yeah the air is just like crisp and like cold and every girl i've seen so far is beautiful i have not seen a single girl um the sushi <laughs> chef, <laughs> the sushi <laughs> chef. Uh, there's only men <laughs> yeah I've in only we saw men. two at at the the uh, gas station when we stopped to get something they were hot he <laughs> 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 was like he comes out from the uh, 7-eleven oh, he's yeah. like dude i saw a girl in there she was so hot i, I look in <laughs> i look in <laughs> i see the cashier behind the counter and she has like Half her shaved head. Half <laughs> shaved head. Oh, oh and, Lord. You know, she's doing her thing, but I was like, uh, you have a different taste, but I respect it. I, there's a lot And of then time. he's like, oh, no, no, there's, there's a different girl. <laughs> they just walked in. I swear, just about every single time, Reno's like, dude, the hottest girl is there. Like, either, oh, you did it with the car, too. He, <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, whoa, okay, whoa, that girl was beautiful. So I literally sped up the car. I'm like, Reno, if I get a speeding ticket because of you, it's kind of worth it because we'll see this girl. But at the same time, it's not. We go. I'm like, Reno, what is this? He goes, oh, well, well, she looked different the first time. <laughs> oh, my God. We were driving fast. I, I got a glimpse. That, that happened a lot. You see so it it's Reno happened thing. in the car with him, too, when we were in California. Too many. Yeah, and, it's, and it's not it's not creepy at all either like <laughs> that girl's hot you're like <laughs> yeah, yeah. All everybody scary. look <laughs> cops are chasing well me. Ari decided to like roll down the window and then she like waved at us i i actually rolled down. oh you did yeah. <laughs> that's funny so never just, mind then yeah i mean i figured i'd get him you know on board here but um yeah so the first episode obviously like dawson said you can see we're in a very professional studio here yeah so Sh this, shitty airbnb that's right the only place we could find with nine beds. So you got to take what you can get. <laughs> it's like place, 20 rooms. This place is actually kind of crazy. It's but so creepy. What were your first thoughts walking in here? I thought it was going to be like Kentucky or no, where, what, what Airbnb? Oh, the haunted the one. Haunted oh, one. that was uh, Florida State. Florida, Florida. Mm -hmm. Tallahassee. Oh my Tallahassee. God. I got those vibes again. I was like, and really? then Grayson popping out of the fucking closet <sighs> scared me so bad. I started that crying. That was funny. We should put those videos in the podcast here. Yeah. You scared yeah. the shit out of me too. Me too. So speaking of, of haunted Airbnbs, I wasn't on the trip when you guys were in Tallahassee. <laughs> I, I heard mm. some crazy shit. If you guys can just, you know, reiterate that, I just... I think Reno's the best one for, for this because he's the ghost guy. He had his little necklace he was praying on. Oh, yeah. That was horrible. We were in Florida, Tallahassee. That was... <laughs> <laughs> was it Tallahassee? Yes, I was Tallahassee. in Florida, Tallahassee. <laughs> right now, we are in the state of <laughs> Tallahassee. <laughs> Utah, Salt Lake City. Oh, my goodness. Was that... Was, is that Tallahassee, the city? Florida, yeah. Would be the first, city first. Oh, okay. It doesn't, doesn't matter. No one cares. Yeah, no one cares. But anyways, uh, we walk up to the house... And it's it's janky. It just looks it looks so haunted, so haunted. Inside was even worse. <laughs> I, 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 Is that really the best explanation? I, you could I, have? I couldn't. I couldn't. That's it was just it. haunted. Like Inside, I don't know. There was this like. So Reno, tell us a really creepy story. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in Florida, Tallahassee. We pull up to the, to the house. It looks so haunted. It's so hot. <laughs> so hot. I, but that's what you can think of. No, you, you said you, you had some like crazy details, and Ari might be better about this. Not that I want to like bring it up because he said some creepy shit. Yeah. But like, oh. there's there was like weird this crack pictures. on the ceiling. I remember everything. The lights, I do too. I just, like I just this, don't like to talk feeling, about it. <laughs> it felt like someone was just like constantly on you. There was this picture of like Asians and a white person on the house, and there was like a picture of like. 10 Asians in it. So you Did felt comfortable. We were all scared. Yeah, right. we all slept yeah. in the same room except <laughs> yeah. for Laura. <laughs> well, no, the door, my door was open. That's yeah. true. You always close your door and you left it open. I'll yeah. tell you the scariest part. And I think this is really all that anybody needs to know. So 
we're all trying to go to sleep and the fan, you know how it has the, the string that you pull for the light, uh-huh. right? In the speed. Yeah. So it was making this noise. It was like, which is normal for that. Like we, we didn't freak out about that. But Ari, for some reason, decided, hey, let me go ahead and just count the <laughs> put number it to the alphabet. Like, let's yeah. do it. And so he put it to the alphabet and it ended up spelling like Sarbosa. Yeah. Which and is like vampire demon. He looked it up and it's a vampire demon. So how did he count these clicks? So it would be like, and then it would stop for like a minute. So he counted like 10 clicks and that would be like, like F a, or whatever. Yeah, F or whatever. Whatever, for whatever like it lines alphabet. up with, right? And then it would start up again. It'd be like, and then he'd go, it'd be like A. So he did that until it went, spelled Sarbosa and then stopped. And the weirdest part was too, the, the, the part that just set it off for me was, my phone, because he was like, we were talking about it because he's like, yo, that's spelled something weird. I have no idea what it is. And then he was like, should we Google it? And my phone lights up for no reason. I, I, I got up to look at it because I was like, ah, probably it's my girlfriend trying to text me or something like that. Nothing. I had weird no flex. notification. It just literally just turned on. And I was like, uh, okay, that's weird. So we Googled it. It's like Google. <laughs> yeah. Right. Google's now. haunting us. <laughs> no, like seriously. And it, it was a blood sucking vampire yeah, demon, demon yeah. that preys on people sleeping. Yeah. It was that's not somewhere I want to stay. No, no, it was horrible. And you, you and that was we like the couldn't first sleep. Night. Yeah. We could not sleep. How many nights were you there? Five. Yeah. No. no. Oh, how many? Three? Three, three nights? Yeah. It felt like I don't, five. We didn't <laughs> sleep. They really did. No, we were all, they put the mattress like, one mattress was in the hallway and then there were two in the bed and then my door was open and then it was Steven in the hallway and then Ari and Reno. It was horrible. I was sleeping on an already <laughs> terrible couch pullout had like that I pulled out. On it it too. had piss stains on <laughs> it like, and I pulled it out and put it on the floor, yeah. which made it that much worse <laughs> <laughs> because I was just like, I'm not dying this way. Yeah. Not, and we're all grown men. Let's yeah. just yeah. let's put that out there. <laughs> There's plenty of ways I want to go. That's yeah. not it. Right. That's not it. It was terrifying. You just felt a, you could not sleep. It You're just feel a presence. You, right? yeah, yeah. 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 And there was a door uh, in, the, yeah. in the bedroom, right? To the closet. Was it locked or did you? It, it was it locked. Was, it oh, that's the worst. Opening. It was locked. And when you went up to it and you turned the knob and you tried to pull, you tried to pull it. It wouldn't open, difficult, right? Really and then difficult. it kept opening on by its own? itself. Oh yeah. It and oh, if you fuck. tried to pull it on its own, it wouldn't open. And you'd hear like it would like the door would just like yeah. open. It would just pop open. You're like, oh my god. Whoa. And then yeah. the last day when we were leaving, or like before, there wasn't this like mark on the ceiling. There was like not this crack. And then all of a sudden, the next day, there was this crack leading from the like middle of the ceiling into the closet. It was horrible. Wow. You know what I think. What if these ghosts are just sitting there and they're just like, <laughs> look how fucking scared he is. <laughs> you know, they're just high as hell. Just like making fun of him. It's like, like, got him. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> like that's a skit right oh there. My God. I was like, and Oh God. And to top it off, the, the dude that rented the Airbnb, oh, yeah. he was just like some drunk that like literally opens the door he when we're there, place, like walked yeah. into it and just like started. Oh, what's your boy? And of course, the worst what? part. <laughs> the Florida man. Yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The worst part is that he comes in there and the fucking, it looks like we like trashed the whole place because the mattress is like <laughs> yeah. pulled it's to like the room. Like a bed everywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, That's like funny. It, it was terrible. And he comes in with his like Tommy Bahama shirt and like his glass of whiskey and he's like kind of stumbling. Like, stumbling. <laughs> he's like, what do, what do you boys do? <laughs> like, I was like, oh, sir, just, nothing. I swear. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, we just you know make fun videos online. And he's like, let me tell you about a prank that oh I used to God. do. And so he started That's, telling me, you know, it, you know, it's funny because every single time someone ever like talks about an old prank or suggests a prank idea, ninety nine percent of the time you're just like. That's cool. Yeah, that would I'll never be a do that. Horrible yeah. video. <laughs> that would be super funny. <laughs> definitely down to, down to do it. It's definitely it's cool when like fans suggest stuff, but it's usually just like mm-hmm. not, not gonna work. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. it does. They, sometimes they, it yeah. does. Sometimes, sometimes they funny. give some funny yeah. ones. Sometimes. But yeah. to elaborate on that too, the the creeper Airbnb guy, I'm pretty sure he was a peeking tom because in every room in they had like the old yes. blinds, there was a piece cut where you could see and Ari and I went outside to go see if you can look through it and you can easily look through every yes. room. Like you could see our every, room. You can see that the bathroom. There was, yeah. Even in my room, wow. there was like a piece yeah. of the thing mess, like missing in every well, room. Of course. 
Yeah, I know. I, I, I was going to say only in the boys' room. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the way in my room. Yeah, can you even believe in my that? Room. Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah, it was just overall not not my favorite trip. Uh, that never was my least. staying there again. No. I'm I'm okay with never going back to that town. I can't believe I, Ari, yeah, I Ari booked that Airbnb. Then. Yeah, yeah, right. Even right. never yeah, books Ari's stuff that's a that's a ever <laughs> again. We're still getting oh, used to the buttons here. Yeah. There we go. That's the one. Thank you. I'll let I'll let that ride out. I'll let that ride out. You deserve <laughs> it. Um, yeah. So we're here until when? Friday, right? Friday morning. Well, you're yes. here until Thursday. I'm here yeah. until Thursday. He has a unfortunately, with his girlfriend. I know. I know. He I, uh, gets to fly back. What a lucky! And we man. drive eleven hours. In all fairness, I drove the entire eleven hours. Yeah, he true. did. I give him props. So, yeah, I know. I slept. True. Yeah, you did. Of course, yes. you did. Of course how was your night? You were hung over the whole entire time. Ha 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 ha! Great. It was good. Really? Because really? just to, uh, you know, refresh everyone's memory, I think it was the last trip everybody went on. We were supposed to meet <laughs> at <laughs> 7 in the morning at the office, 8 o'clock. Only four of us. No Laura. Went. 9 o'clock, no <laughs> Laura. Two hours into it, we're like, okay, what's, what are we going to do here? I was like, go get her. Colton had her address. They went and knocked on your door at like 9.30. What they do? I called them when they were on the way because I frantically. Oh, she's like, shit, they're coming. I yeah. They're actually coming even worse. <laughs> I frantically woke up and then like called Ari. He didn't answer. Called Grayson. And he was like, we're on the way for you. And I was like, oh shit. Okay. So I like jump out of bed. I wasn't even like finished packing. Threw all my stuff in like a suitcase. And then they were there. And then I like, they didn't even help me <laughs> put I think my bag in the we car. We need to pop this picture on the screen right oh, now because it's no. beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Laura, no. so hungover. So, so beautiful. I started Just crying. Great picture. I felt so bad. It's probably my favorite picture yeah, ever. It's, it's the best. Ugh. It's the best. I, if oh. anyone wants to get that tattooed on their body, I'll pay for it easily. No. Uh, we're also going to be making new merch that's coming out soon. So, F guys, be ready. Ugh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, so based on that, last night I get a text. We have a group chat, Balmer Peak. There's everybody's in the, in the chat, daily dropout. And Laura texts us at like two or three in the morning. <laughs> it was 12. It? it was midnight. Almost one in 1 a.m. Almost one in morning. <laughs> <laughs> almost one in the morning. <laughs> what what did you say? Can someone pull that out? Who has their phone? Yeah, on I got it. I, it was just, oh, a, I, I remember what it was. It was, so you guys it was here's another photo. 645. It was her drinking and it was like, yeet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just goes 745, 645 shit. I will be there. Yeet. <laughs> Screenshot yeah. that. And just got to put that up too. It, just a picture of you drinking what appears to be a Red Bull vodka maybe. I think it's whiskey. Uh, no, Jack and Coke. Went, I was going to say Jack and Coke. When do you I, drink Jack? I drink Jack and Coke all night, actually. She thinks she's a cowboy. <laughs> I'm from Texas. <laughs> yeah, but and the whole day. The see, My brother is a huge whiskey guy, so of course he put me on. To, I kind of have to. It's my least favorite thing when you're hungover because you know you know what I hear about all day when you're hungover? I want water! Yeah. <laughs> Literally, you come running up to my window in the car and just like, we're going to Starbucks, right? Say we're going to Starbucks. I'm like, like, we're not going to Starbucks. And then I roll up my window and she just presses her face against the window and it's like, <laughs> like, Laura, okay, if you'll shut up. <laughs> we'll exactly. Stuff. It makes you do it. But we, yeah. we went to Dunkin' instead. Oh, we to Dunkin'. But I still got food and water. Definitely. Yeah. Dunkin' over Starbucks. Yeah. It's a bold claim. I don't know. It that's depends. A, that's a hard one. That's no, a big claim. Honestly, no. What prank are you most excited to film for this trip? Honestly, the only one I can remember right now is let's bang. <laughs> bang. <laughs> bang. <laughs> let's bang. And why is that? <laughs> why are you most excited? <laughs> I don't know. That's the only one I can remember. You want right to explain now. at least what you're talking about? Yeah. So I'm people. going up to Mormon people. Just no. kidding. No, 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 no. <laughs> Well, probably. <laughs> okay, I'm going up Salt Lake to, to, no, to people. Yes, there will be Mormons. Okay, yes. I'm going up to men or boys or whatever you want to call them. Guys. Or girls. Ugh. Or girls. And I'm going right. to ask them, hey, do you want to bang or let's bang? And then... No, you can't say let's bang. You're going to say, <laughs> hey, oh, defeats yeah. the purpose. Hey, do you want to... You're going to be like, do you want to bang? Do you want to bang? Yeah, you want to bang. Yeah. And they're going to be like, What? And then I'm just going to carry on the conversation. Just be like, psych. And then give them a bang energy drink. 
Well, you can't say. I feel like you can't say psychic. Well, I'm like not gonna say psychic, but I'm just, I'm just psych, saying psych. psych. Like, hey, you <laughs> gotta be clueless about it. No, 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 like, no, no, no. Oh, here you go. Yeah. I was no, just messing around. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> hey, do you want some bang? Psych. Psych. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> Oops. Pretty much, it's gonna be like a psych, but not actually. It's gotta be like you know. Okay, here you go. Or or when they if they say no, which a lot of them will, you pull it out and be like, okay, I, I'll find someone else. <laughs> <laughs> On to my bang? next victim. No, okay, I'll find someone else. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> They're all. Wait a minute. What are we doing? Um, what what university are we doing tomorrow? Uh, what are we <laughs> <laughs> Who are we banging tomorrow? What, what <laughs> university are we doing? <laughs> Going to? I, I don't know. I was thinking that me and you hit uh, University of Utah, and mm. then we send Laura, Fabrice, and L the other crews to uh University of U uh, what is it UVU Utah Valley Why? Utah Valley Why because because otherwise there's gonna be four crews on one campus and crew? <laughs> that's a lot <laughs> crew? psych it's gonna be overwhelming so right. I said we split it up a little bit there's four big universities here so we could switch off every day true that about it you're I, not wrong I'm super excited yeah isn't that where Andrew Hales filmed a lot of his videos this right? where he went to school actually gotcha does he live here he grew up LA. well he didn't. He lived here most of his life, went to yeah. school here, started making his videos here, and he moved to LA like three years ago. Good, Good guy. Lead. Yes, love it, Andrew. You guys. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. Um, what are you most excited to film? I think, uh, honestly, I'm most excited to film snoring in the library. Oh, yeah. Just because it's so <laughs> cringe to sit there and like- Let me hear the snore. It's so good. Just- <laughs> 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 but the funny thing is like you have your eyes closed i that's the fun thing about these kind of pranks you have your eyes closed so you don't know so what's you don't, going you don't really yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. God. It worked. <laughs> that sounded and so wet. <laughs> right back up to your face, too. Oh, like my wet. God. You just like ate your own fart. Well, yeah. Yeah, but you're about to eat it. No. Ooh. Come on, Laura. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Take a seat next to daddy. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah. Get me out of here. Yeah, so those are my favorite kind of breaks because <laughs> you never know, you know, <laughs> if anybody's even reacting. Yeah. So you're just sitting there, that just was like looking like an idiot. <laughs> just looking like an idiot. Falling asleep on strangers in the yeah, library. That was a good one. That was a great one. I'm doing part two of that. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Call me Steven. Cheese it. But anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> dad joke. Dad joke. Love it. Um, Dawson, I think you had a, a topic you wanted to, to bring up. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, do you fuck with the war? <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to talk about. I want to hear Laura's. I want to talk about yeah. the war. I want to hear everybody's, but I really want to hear Laura's. So my what? Your, answer, your take on it. Brief background. Um, not to get political. We're not going to, you know ever get political here i don't want to do that no one wants to take sides everyone has their their own beliefs about politics i don't want to get involved i stay of, of, as far away from that as possible Ooh, yeah. but what happened was basically the u.s bombed iran and killed their lead general so this could Stupid. possibly be like world war three in the making is what everyone's saying on twitter at least and people are terrified if, about getting drafted. So I think that Steven right now is the only one that's exempt from the draft considering he's 27. I think it's 18 to 26-year-olds. The way that it works is um, first they use all active military personnel, all active duty mm -hmm. um, military members. They send them over. I think right now we have 1.4 million active members in the wow. military. That's a lot. It is a lot. Mm -hmm. But... Um, in, in, in war, who knows how fast that goes. So after that starts to deplete a little bit, what they do, and I'm I'm trying to do my best here. I, I may be wrong about some of this, but I believe um, before draft, they call everybody that's in like the reserve and training reserve, et cetera. They call them up. And then I also believe they have to call um, all retired military personnel. Even if they're old? I think there's an age limit. I yeah, think it's from sure, yeah. from Gotta a be. certain age to a certain age, like maybe whatever from whenever they're retired to like 45 or 50 and oh, under, okay. something like that. I'm shooting the shit here. 
And from there, if they need more soldiers, they do a draft, which I believe the last draft was Vietnam. Was Sounds it? Sounds right. Yeah. yeah. How long ago was that? Hot minute. Yeah. Since Nam. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so basically the, the idea here is this would be such a big war and it would be fought major majority of it allegedly if it did happen. This is all, you know, speculation, but it would be fought in Iran and you know, it's a mountainous countryside. Basically it would be hard for the United States to like, you know, just just win it right away. It would be a long war and there would be extreme disadvantages to us meaning that we'd probably lose a lot of a lot of men so the the idea of the draft comes into play which how the draft works is once all of those members are you know deployed and we need more people what they would do is they would have a draft and it would be all uh 18 through 26 year olds would be the first to enter i think that um you can't actually be sent off until you're 20. I read that today. I'm, they might be wrong. But basically, starting from when you're 18, um, you would have the highest chance of getting drafted. And then 19 would be less, 20 would be less, 21. So each year you have less of a chance. But basically, they'd call a year and a birth date. And if, and if you fall on that year, that birth date, then everyone with that same birth date that was born the same year is drafted and has to serve in the military. That sucks. when you say birthday, are you saying like specific like, day? Like they would say July specific 8th, day. 1998. So, so yes. So if you're in that range, if you were born that year, that day, then you you would be drafted, oh. and you'd have to you'd be required to serve in the military or whatever, whether that be on on foot, you know, on the, in the troops, uh, army. Some people would be you know needed for if you have medical background, you could do that, or if you're. Um, go to computers, science, or whatever, but it would mostly be just, you'd be dropped off in Iran. What's your, when's your birthday, Reno? June 9th. I'm going to send that to Trump so you get drafted first. That's <laughs> great. <laughs> just, That's messed really up. great. I'm, I'm wow. joking. <laughs> and, and I, hey, can just you draft for the internet. June 9th, uh, 1995 <laughs> first, please. For the internet warriors <laughs> out there, I'm not 100% sure about everything I'm saying, but it's pretty accurate, I believe. So, wow. um, that's, that's the way that it works. Once you turn 26, I think that you're no longer eligible. And then if it, if all those people died pretty much and it depleted, then from, they would be able to call 18 to like 50 year olds after that. Oh, wow. I don't think we'll go through that many people. though. Hopefully not. Hopefully no hopefully one dies. No one, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we don't no go one into dies. This. We don't want, no one wants war. I'm just going to move to China. And the, the thing is like, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll see you guys in a couple <laughs> years. <laughs> so if you if you do get drafted, which women can't get drafted, by the way. Okay. So you're good. Right. Well, I, if, I, if you I, do get drafted, you're required to serve 21 months. So that's a year, nine months. And if you don't, then you face five years in prison and up to $250,000 fine. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you say, Be oh, I got drafted. I'm not doing that. If you don't fall under the categories of uh, mentally insane... You cannot kill for religious purposes, which you have to prove, I believe. And it's actually really strict and hard to do that. Um, or if you have any like medical disabilities, which I'm pretty sure we're all healthy, normal individuals. If you, if you were like, oh, I'm not going. <laughs> <Too old> anyway. <laughs> Boom, five old. years in prison. Dude, being American sucks. Oh, wow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's also the greatest country in the world. Is, God bless the USA. It is. It really is. Kind of. Damn it. <laughs> God oh. bless the USA. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, I got to get used yeah. to it. Right Damn. Right there. Woo! there we go. Okay. America. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's crazy. But also, I don't I don't want us to you know go to war. I don't know anything about politics. I love everybody. We have a lot of great fans in the Middle East. Don't want to go to war with them. Well, we love everybody. So hopefully it all gets resolved. But that's just something that we've been talking about lately. Not to like change it up to like a serious note, but I think it'd be you know an interesting topic just because that's what's going on in the world right now. Yeah. So I was asking Reno, like, what, what, what would you do? You know, if you got he, he drafted. He doesn't have a choice. Yeah. None of you guys have choices if you get drafted. Well, Steven is 27, yep. number one. So he's good. Mm -hmm. And also he has uh, his bachelor's and his master's mm -hmm. so he would be like he would he wouldn't have to be like a soldier you could do like yeah. educated shit so you're telling me i need to go to college now right <laughs> so now if you go to college you will be exempt but only 
until you have to either prove you're actively finishing your degree, um, but they can also decide to just draft you at the end of the, the semester. It's yeah, it's like that's kind of funny. Shit. It's really serious. Yeah. Like it's not kind of just like a playful like, oh, yeah, come know. fight. Yeah, yeah. No, no it's serious. You should see Twitter because yeah. Twitter's making it seem like that. No, like, that's I, OK. The Twitter memes are hilarious. Yeah. They are. They I, are. They're I, really funny. I think that's what's kind of pissing me off about it is like like you see on TikTok and you see these kids making like like there's like a joke one where he's like Iranians like running away screaming and then it shows um the kid like all the call of duty players and i'm like you're making this a joke out of call this of it's duty. not fucking call of duty you're you have a chance of your life being taken from you like that's and it's it's kind of stupid that people are like making it a joke out of it to me because uh -huh. it, it bothers me i'll say that because i'm like I, you're do terrified you, do you yeah i value life i value life a lot like i i love everything in it i love and personally me Having to take another person's life, yes, I understand this is for the country, but at the same time, it's, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not something you want to do. No, I don't, I don't want to take someone else's life. I don't want to have to take someone's life. Like right. it's, it's, you're being forced against your will and that's something being a part of American, but I, at the same time, I, I don't like that. No, I don't like that. And what you're saying, I saw on Twitter, I saw the memes and yeah, they were funny, but I also saw a video of a, of a soldier that's actually actively deployed. He's over in the Middle East somewhere. And he was like, yeah, I see the memes and I see, you know, everyone, you know, like posting these and some of them are funny, but I haven't seen one like actual post saying we're praying for you guys or we support you or exactly. something like that. He's like, all I see is everyone making a joke out of it when there's, there's, I don't know how many troops are deployed right now, but he's like, there's a, we're all here and we're fighting. We could lose our lives. Like we would appreciate it if you guys would be a little more serious and like, you know, at least pray for us, pray for everybody. Totally. That's exactly. And that's what bothers me. That's what yeah. bothers me a lot because there's people over there risking their lives and people are making fucking jokes out of it. It's not a right. joke. It's a real, this is real life. And people over social media think it's fake. I think like it's people fake. People think everything on the internet actually is fake. Yeah. 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 No, I think it's like, it's honestly one of the craziest things. And I think we have lived in a really crazy time too. Like, it's um, been like relaxing time compared well, to everything else in history. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's when Obama was president. He was cool. Mm -hmm. I never met the guy, but he, he was cool. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, I, I think we live in a really interesting time and, and things like this, you know, can happen and do happen and it just kind of pops up and, you know, unfortunately to my, to my own fault, I'm not as in tune with, you know, the, the world politics and you know, what's much. really going on. Right. So all I can hope is that there's some sort of conflict resolution and that, you know, Iran and the United States and really anybody who else who we have conflict with, we can find some sort of resolution that doesn't result in a full on war. Yeah. It just Which is going to be hard to do. Super hard to yeah. do. Just what we history. did is kind of, you know, to them it's ir it's irforgivable. Yeah. Unforgivable. Unforgivable. Irforgivable. <laughs> it's irforgivable. Irforgivable. America. And to them it is irrigation. But um, but that's like the, equivalent to them coming over and like killing our vice president. Yeah. Basically yeah. So if we were in that situation, you know, what do you think America would do? Well, of course not. They'd go to war. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and they put up a red flag, I believe, on their mosque uh, which is a signal of um, basically war and retaliation mm -hmm. and so it's kind of inevitable at this point so the the best that we can hope for is that it's you know well, don't is, you think as it's small as possible i mean yeah, yeah the best the best would be just world peace i mean that, <laughs> that's yeah. what everybody wants but it's just not realistic so what do you think the people out there are thinking though because they're like, probably thinking that they're, they're all probably screwed. upset well the, yeah they're probably terrified for their lives fleeing the country imagine people there that are civilians with families and their their homes are about to be a war ground which it has been for a, probably a, a decent time. part of their life but still it's i don't know the whole situation is just sad and i don't really know about the the actual politics sorry of it, to so I don't speak on it sorry to interrupt that just stopped Ooh, good call want to reset that real quick steven thanks reno no problem that's why I'm a filmer. <laughs> so we got a black screen right now, so we can continue this while Steven's getting this, this set up. But yeah, Steven and uh, Reno are wearing matching shoes, just so you guys know. Mm -hmm. Walmart, baby. Snow boots. 
But um, yeah, no, it's completely with seeing, serious. With seeing as little as possible, because you know, like I said, I want to stay stay out of politics. I don't really want to discuss it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's a real world thing going on right now, and the I mean, God bless America. God bless everybody. Yeah, mm-hmm. we don't want anybody to die. Yeah, Amen. Not Amen. Giving, no anxiety for anybody. <laughs> Gives me anxiety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. I think it's. Yeah, I think you said it well. It's a terrible thing, and you know we wish everybody well, and hopefully it works itself out without. Hopefully, any uh, all of our filmers don't get drafted because I'll be no more daily dropout <laughs> video. <laughs> That's one hundred percent So if there's any reason, we need not you, Reno, <laughs> not to go to war. For yeah. those of you who don't know, Reno is our full time filmer and editor along with three others that are all in between the ages to get drafted. Right. <laughs> yeah. Except for Grayson, he's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Grayson. Yeah. Everyone. But Colton, Ari, Noah, Reno, all of our filmers and editors are Colton. the old. Oh, well, he's not a filmer. These pranks I are about to that. become selfie yeah. style. Right? <laughs> 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 Hopefully we never get to that. <laughs> yeah. No, we won't. So we bad. won't. We won't. It'll be okay. It'll be good. Oh, man. Um I, I, I'm sorry. I just had to say this because I noticed, and it's really bothering me, and I couldn't stop staring at it. It's you started biting your fingers again, your fingernails. Wow. You're really going to put me on blast? I'm sorry. But okay, so I so know I hate when people bite their fingernails. Like, I hate it. Mm. And Stephen bites his, and he was doing so well, and we, ha- we we made a bet. No jewel pods. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure you broke that away. I ago. have not bought jewel pods. Well, have you, don't, you smoked you don't a jewel? Pizza. Yes, but I have not bought jewel pods. I told him, we made a bet. I said, I wouldn't buy jewel pods if you didn't bite your nails. And then I still haven't. Actually, I'm not buying jewel pods, though. I'm so proud of myself. It's been like four weeks. That's good. Good job. But, That's good. Um, yeah, I've had some stressful stuff recently. So this is a product of stress. And uh, unfortunately, trust me, I don't want to be doing it. I hate it. I it's, do, too. It's like one of the worst things. But that was just like, I just had to say, <laughs> point it out because it was yeah. really like, I, I noticed it and I was like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You did it, Steven. It's a bad it. habit. <laughs> I know. What's your worst habit, Laura? What do you consider your worst habit? Uh, other than, other than jeweling. Is peeing in the shower a habit? No, no, that's saving that's so, water. Yeah, it's so relieving okay, too. Okay, that's okay. that's a good thing. People who um, don't pee in the shower, I think, are really weird. The way you said that. No, that's saving water. <laughs> <you> idiot. <laughs> what is Save wrong the with world. you? Stupid. <laughs> um, a bad habit of mine, man. I don't know. I burp a lot. You do burp a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. For a girl, it's you pretty got one for us. No, not right now. <laughs> Sadly, you can't can't handle the heat. So as everyone knows, it is what today's January fifth. Yeah. Um, starting with Laura, what's your goals for two thousand and twenty? Um, honestly, to be a lot better at posting YouTube and get my YouTube stuff popping off. <laughs> I feel like when I'm out traveling Poppin', at the end of this month, I'm gonna try and vlog like a lot of it. Yeah, you should. Like a lot. Like I want to post like eight to ten videos. You have so many people that boost you too. I know me and Ari are always on your ass about it. I know. I'm over here watching like Ari destroy me with his dog (laughs) YouTube. I'm like, no, 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 no. (laughs) Relax. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. But, um. Do we? Do we? I was just about to say that. He's, oh, I can't say that. He's just beating me. He's just, (laughs) he's No, this isn't going, this isn't going. Okay. (laughs) I'm going to shut up about that. But yeah, no, definitely improve my own YouTube and maybe do something along the lines of starting my own clothing brand. But we'll see about that because what do you want that to be? I'm not sure. I really need to look into it more. (laughs) Okay. What what are you going to look into if it's your own thing? I'm so indecisive. That's the thing. Like, I don't know if I want to do like bikinis. I don't know if I want to do like other clothing. Like I'm just very indecisive about things and I don't really know where you made bikinis. I would definitely rock one. I'd get one. Would you? you? Well, you could, Pay us to do some Instagram influencing. Yeah. Five dollars? New bikini from Laura. <laughs> <laughs> that would a brand name that bikini from funny. Laura. That would be such a great ad for you. That and would. really funny. Bikinis we, by Laura. Yeah, we, we do like we're on the beach and we're like running holding it. What? <laughs> anyway, back to runner and you. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's the dog doing to you? Um, um, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, what are your twenty twenty? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. Um, I have a lot. On your titties, bitch. Uh, Whoa. You know that song all? by Tyga? Nope. <laughs> no. Rack, rack city, bitch. Oh, yeah. 10, 10, 10, 20s on your titties, bitch. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I have a lot. Oh, gosh. 
<laughs> no. Yo, I was just adjusting my seat. I wasn't going to fart. Right. I hate these mics that they don't have stands. <laughs> I know. Right. My hands are getting tired. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah tell us about your goals. You list them. I'll, I have a lot, but I'll, I'll say the public ones. Okay. So um, the first one, daily dropout to five mil. Yeah. What? What? Oh, shit. Again? Uh, Again? How does that one say? Full. Okay. Oh, that's, that's bad. That's a bad one. Let me take care of this. You guys go ahead and keep yeah, talking. Extra, extra cards. Yeah. Finish yeah. Um So daily dropout to five mil. Whoop, whoop. We're definitely 100% going to make that happen. Um, my personal channel to one mil. Mm -hmm. That will also What are you at on your happen. personal? Uh, almost 700K. Oh, wow. It's personal. Don't ask. Yeah, it's personal. <laughs> um, yeah, so that will 100% happen. Both of those will 100% happen. And then um, the last one is to just allow myself to find one thing to be really happy about every single day. Heck yeah. Because a lot of times I find myself not doing that. So you're telling me your dog doesn't make you happy every oh, single day? Oh, Scout makes me so happy. Uh, good. Yeah. So you can just be like, oh, <laughs> Scout, you make me happy. And yeah. then there well, goes your day. <laughs> no, it can't, it can't be the same thing every day. Okay. Oh, and to stop biting my nails. But that's yes. Yeah, that's, that's a hard problem. one. I literally got these down. To the point where they all hurt oh, so bad. That grosses me yeah. out. Yeah. I do that sometimes. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. These are my real nails. What's your uh, resolution? <laughs> <laughs> we know. Also, Ooh. just want to point out, I'm so excited because I'm almost at 100K subscribers. Whoop, whoop. And I get a freaking plaque. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay? It is pretty cool. And it's cool. going to say my name. That's say right. Say my name. Say, say my name. name. <laughs> Oh, I dream about a plaque. It's a beautiful thing. What are yours? So excited. My my 2020. Well, my my main one is to focus on YouTube on uh, stuff like other than the daily dropout. In a sense of like my own personal stuff, I plan to try to uh, make a channel with my family. Like I have a lot of siblings, like six of them, five of them. I don't even know. Five, five <laughs> or six. I have to like think about it, but I really want to make a channel with them and, um, and just kind of just do the most outrageous fun stuff with them just cause I know they love that stuff and they absolutely love YouTube. I think it's beautiful that kids love YouTube right now you could so. essentially start your own little empire yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah and you think about it it wouldn't really like you'd have somebody to run it for like the next 20 years oh. because the youngest one will just kind of grow up yeah into it. no that's exactly that's why I, like i thought about that i just never thought to act on using them because it's like i i don't know i thought about personal like oh just me but i'm like what the heck why would i do that i can make like fun content that these kids are gonna love and so what's your goal for that for the year? Um, to, you know, reach, I'd say like 10,000 sub subs in like six months. What are you at? I just, I haven't even started yet. Oh, you haven't Yeah, started? I've started the channel and all that, but I, yeah, that's my goal is to, in that time frame, because I'm moving back with my parents just to, because I want Same. to make videos with them. And I really want to focus on that and try to get it to a certain amount of subscribers in that in that range in that six Sold month goal. period well, i'll subscribe to you so that's one yeah and keep up with like my my dogs my dog channel and then personal work on stuff like that uh and my last goal is to uh get back to being shredded <laughs> i miss being fit retweet feel that <laughs> <laughs> um can i lastly plug my last goal i completely yeah. forgot yeah um oh i want to make my new house my oh, yeah. sanctuary and it's just go. like I'm so excited for it. And by the end of the year will be when it's coming to like fruition. I just want it to be <laughs> <laughs> fruition. <laughs> Heck I can't yeah. wait to live there with you and Sydney. No, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Me and so Sydney are gonna have ten a of us in one house every nope. night. Nope. All of us. We should just make it the daily dropout headquarters. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. it'd be great. Um sounds good. All right, guys, thank you so much for <laughs> tuning in. All right, Dawson, yours. Oh. Oh. Oh, I didn't think you were gonna ask me. <laughs> well, thank you, Steven. I feel honored. Of course. <clears throat> well, number one is basic because everybody is everybody's goal, but to get in shape. But I've been doing good. I I believe in starting your goals before the before January first. True that. So for the last three weeks, I've been working out hard. Oh, I'm yeah. I've already lo lost what eight or nine pounds. Dude, flex for him. Dude, mm -hmm. you want to see these muscles? Let's see them. Oh shit! <laughs> Careful. Oh, wow. Careful! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Like that. Whoa. Ah! Hey, Ari. 
Did you bring the permit for Dawson's guns? <laughs> yeah, I think they're actually uh, illegal to carry, open carry in Utah. <laughs> so you better, <laughs> you better watch out. <laughs> I'll skip um, bad boys. So obviously that, and I'm not going to be like everybody that just quits after a month. I, I already invested. I bought a whole home gym. It's out in the man Heck cave. Yeah. Been awesome. working out every morning. Waking up at six every single day is another goal because I used to do that and I'd get so much more done and there'd be so much more time in the day. And then I kind of fell off track when I had uh, Miles, the little, little guy, which is obviously okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you're yeah. up in the middle of the night, can't be getting up uh, at six, but he's six months old now. Things are back in the normal swing of things. So I'd really like to just get in the habit of that, which I've already started. And it's easy. Like after the third day, you're, you know, you're so tired. And then like the third day, you're like, okay, my body's already starting to reset and it gets easier every day. Oh yeah. Even if it's eight o'clock, just wake up at the same time every day and you'll feel so much better. Totally. Um, so that's that's a goal. And then what else? Just to be, um, my biggest goal is just to be happy and a, and a better person because like I was telling someone this the other day, but in the last like six or seven years, all of my goals have been like materialistic based, like money or, you know, success or this or that. But I think I want to, I've realized every year since I started YouTube, I feel like my my mental state has gone down a little bit each year. And I think it's because I'm so focused on those things that I haven't really taken the time that I need to step back a little bit and just clear my head mentally. So it's my goal to just really work on myself, become a better person, and give myself no pleasure, all pain this year. Nice. Wow. I think that. That's, yeah, you, you almost cried. I almost cried. did. Yeah, that's awesome. I like that a lot. So it's really good. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. New year, new me. I hate that. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> That's another thing that I hate too. No, yeah. But it is a co- it is a cool chance to kind of reset your clock and just like Redemption. give yourself an excuse to to do things over again, you know? Yeah. 100%. It does feel like a fresh start. It does. You could all use a fresh start sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Hopefully this war hopefully it gives us that freedom. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, hopefully there's no war. That's exactly. <laughs> okay. Your uh, biggest goal should to not get drafted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For My real. biggest goal of 2020, <laughs> I had to change it three days into the year, but it is now to not <laughs> be drafted <laughs> to the war. Yeah. Uh, it is January 5th. I'm doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's January 5th. I've already messed up my New Year's. I'll try again next year. You should year. make a new channel called Reno's Draft and do <laughs> daily updates. Well, today. I did not. <laughs> It's like the, I still is it have Christmas? not gotten drafted. Yeah. It's like isitchristmas.com. <laughs> have you seen that? Yeah, no. did you say godded? I still have not <laughs> no. gotted and drafted. Uh, I still have not <laughs> no. gotted drafted. Some of it, I, I wish somebody was filming you 24 7. Me some too. of the shit that comes out of your mouth. Honestly, I deserve <laughs> so like an MTV show. I wouldn't, go. I wouldn't go that far, but I mean, okay, wow. Relax. relax. Don't be a jerk. My life is a movie. <laughs> Okay, maybe like it, maybe TLC. Okay, well, that's for white people. Whoa, whoa. That's okay. I, I'm white. Okay. Oh, she can yeah. say it. I can say it. <laughs> she can say it. Okay. I'm white. T. Anyways, thank you guys um, so much for actually <laughs> speaking of uh, ethnicity, Laura. Everyone always asks, "What are you?" Let, let's clear that up right now. Um, go yeah, watch my Q and A on my YouTube. Oh, <laughs> shout out! No, <laughs> plug it. Go ahead and then tell us because n- yeah. some people don't like clicking. Well, if you guys want to um, get to know me a lot better, you can go watch my Q and A on my YouTube channel. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> but I will tell you my ethnicity. Hang on, I what's am. your YouTube channel? Oh, it's just Laura Fraser. Okay, there you go. There Find you go. Laura's Just personal channel. Just type my name into um, YouTube. There's no you in my name. It's just L-A-R-A, <laughs> and it's not Lauren. <laughs> yeah, all those comments. <laughs> yeah. yeah. L-A-R-A, Lara. Even Lara. people in real life will be like, you're Lauren, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Lara? Or Laura. Oh they, say, Laura. they say the Laura they the say most. Laura. I don't know why it upsets me so much. Like, it doesn't matter to me, but I, really I can't funny. stand it. I don't know why. I'm like, I'm it's used to Lara. It. I'm used to it. So what are you? I am Chinese, Scottish, and Irish. Okay, let's get a test. To, well, let's let's do a video yeah, doing the ethnicity test. I'm so down <laughs> for that. Ancestry.com. I'm gonna be pissed if it's wrong. It's, it will watch be. me not even be Chinese. I was supposed I'll to be twenty so percent Native American, zero percent. Okay, well you should get a refund. 
<laughs> well, actually, this is, my sis- <laughs> this is my sister, which is technically me. They said we were 1% me- Middle Eastern, though. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. There you go. Interesting. My brother but, did it. I. It was like all Eastern European. My, was my it sister right? said, uh, well, you, we don't really know how accurate yeah. it is. My sister said 45% French. Are That's you right. even French? That makes me 45% French. But what are your parents? French, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> French, English. Um, his mother's name is Clemence. What? And his father's name is Bless Pierre. Bless you. <laughs> my father's name is French Fry, and my <laughs> mother's name is French Toast. <laughs> Cow. Escargot. I do we want to try in, that. We were in France la- this this time last year. Wait, wait. Because what if they, no, I take ago. it, and oh, it says I'm like 10% Chinese 2018. when I'm 50. 2019. Were we in 2019? Yeah, dude. Oh, really? Where's time going? I don't know. Wait, what's was happening? It, was it? A year ago from now, we were it in France. Oh, yeah, I guess. We were in, we were, yeah, we were in Europe. What? French people. The good old days. The French people. Yes, sir. We proposed and you did not say yes. I slapped you in the face. I said oui. you had really big nipples. Yes. Oui. I said I wanted you for your money. It is all true. Yes. You can, is it you can find those videos on YouTube. Yeah. You can, yeah. Fake proposal yeah, that, prank. That's crazy how fast time is flying. You know? Yeah. In a year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How have I done it? I don't know. I don't know, but you know what? You not knowing is a perfect segue for us to wrap up this first episode of the Daily Drop. Oh, <laughs> Daily it's Daily over. Drop out game. <laughs> <laughs> <Not knowing when. laughs> oh, don't go. I know. <laughs> this has been fun, though. This is this, this is, is cool. Been fun. Not knowing what. Smash the thumbs up button if you want us to do more. And I know you do. So even when you smash <laughs> that thumbs up button. And Shout out to everybody for subscribing to Dropout Gang. We made this oh, yes. three weeks ago, already like 60,000 subs. It's crazy. It's crazy. Freaking crazy. awesome. Love it. Amazing. Love it. Amazing. And Fantastic. I love it too. Well, guys, any last words? Um, yeah. Nickel. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a shower and go to bed. Wow, Laura. That was wow. way too much information. Yeah. I did Sorry. not need to I'm, know that at all. Sorry. I'm going to go take Anyway, guys, guys, thanks so much for poop. tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Like we said, smash that thumbs up button. We're going to be doing this much more often. We're super excited for it. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Peace. Bye. Yeah. Peace. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Ooh. So this is the part where we like pretend like it's over, but we just keep on talking. <laughs> so like, you know, nachos. How about some nachos? Yes, with I cheese. I love nachos. Love them. Love, oh, they're love so you, great. Oh, oh. So you sleeping in my oh. bed tonight, Steven? Yes, you know it. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm disgusted. Okay. Right. Uh-huh. You guys literally Bye. will fart and then just like put it in your face. Like, what's wrong with you? Come on. Are you fucking No, it was silent. It was silent. Yeah, those are the worst. Gross. Gross. Gross.